Hi students, good evening. Welcome to this video session. My name is Samuel Dominic Chuku Emeka, aka Sam Dom for Peace. In this video session, we shall uh, download and install uh, an IDE. Uh, IDE is an integrated development environment for Python programming language. And that is the IDE we are going to be we are going to use for uh, the tutorials that we are going to do for this class. Uh, there are several IDEs, so many of them. Uh, some are free, some are not. And uh, we, in this video, we are going to use a free one, which is an open source. Uh, an open source software is a free software. Uh, is the one I've used for some time and uh, is the one that uh, for now meets my expectations. Uh, I'm not going to mention other ones uh, so that you know it doesn't mean that I'm taking side with this company and I'm not taking side with this company. Uh, but just keep in mind some uh, you choose the IDE for Python based on what serves your needs, uh, based on uh, what can accomplish whatever uh, work you want to do with Python. Uh, please, this video would, is in the playlist and it is important that you follow the videos in the playlist in order. Uh, so that you can have a good knowledge, uh, good working knowledge of Python programming language. You are using Codio. You're using the Codio IDE, which is great. Uh, Codio is not free. You paid for it. Uh, so you paid for it in your tuition. It's part of your tuition. So what happens when you uh, graduate you know you've worked with Codio but once you graduate from this or when, once you finish this course and you want to work with Python you know what are you gonna do so that's why I'm doing this video uh, however I know you want to still make a good grade in the class uh, and uh, you might ask me, okay, what if I decide to continue with Codio? That's fine if you want to. But some people probably would not. Some people would want open source software. So that's why I'm doing this video. Uh, also, uh, Codio uses system files. Uh, some of the codes you write in Codio, you know, depending on uh, whatever assignment you're doing, some of them will not work in other uh, environment uh, because you know Codio uses system files, and later on we can talk about those. Uh, but it's still Python programming language. Be it as it may, okay. Be it as it may, uh, some people might want open source, and that's why I want to do this video. Now Codio is great, okay. It's great. And you, that's why uh, we are going to, um, for the uh, tutorials we shall do, we are going to do it both in Codio and in PySham. So what is PySham? PySham is the uh, IDE uh, that we are going to use for the Python tutorials. Uh, we may introduce some other IDEs later on. But for now, let's begin with PySham. Uh, so, for the other subsequent tutorials we are going to do with Python, we are going to do it both in Codio and in PySham, so that you you know you learn both ways. You know you can yeah, 
your you have the best of both ends so uh the first thing we're gonna do is uh you check whether you have python in your computer now i'm using uh windows 10 pc that's what i'm using windows 10 pc uh with, with the newer newer windows 10 pc some of them already come with a python interpreter uh, as you have learned earlier on uh, in previous videos you see that python uh, needs an interpreter <coughs> so you uh, we need an interpreter and uh, some of the newer pcs windows 10 i think they come with python interpreter the python idle idle uh, which means integrated development and learning environment so some of them come with it already uh, but some of you you have pcs it's not new or maybe it's not windows 10 so you don't have the python idle uh, some people will say IDO, I-D-L-E, you might say IDO uh, or IDLE, whatever, but I call it I-D-L-E, Integrated Development and Learning Environment. So let's, the first thing we want to do is, remember, we want to install, we, want, we are going to download and install the Python IDE, which the one I would be doing is PySharm. But let us make sure PySharm is the IDE, however, it still needs a Python interpreter. So let's the first thing you do is to check your system to see whether it has any Python interpreter. Does it have any Python at all? Does your computer have Python installed in it? Okay, so you just type Python. Okay, you come here and you type Python. As you can see here, this is like for the web. It put this for the web. It didn't say desktop icon. So this doesn't have Python. Okay, if you kind of click on this arrow, you see it gets it from python.org. Downloads, go to downloads. So this is from the web. Uh, it doesn't say desktop icon. So I don't, this computer does not have Python. Now it did anyway but i removed it i removed it so that i can do this process you know uh from this scratch so that because if i already do it with the python it came with python ide and i already do it with it then what of those who don't have python ide so i would have to <laughs> i would have to explain that process again so I removed the Python I have on this system. Okay, I removed it. Uh, so I'm doing this from the beginning. Now, if you have the Python IDLE on your machine, you don't need to remove it. You don't need to. So I will let you know where you can follow up with us. Okay, I will let you know where you can follow up with us. However, if you want to remove it, all you need to do is you can go to the control panel you go to the control panel you see desktop app and you click on it you go to uninstall a program and you find the uh python ideloe and you can remove it from here you can just if you click on it you know if you click on it and you right click you go to uninstall if you want to remove it and start like I'm starting afresh okay so uh, let's go ahead I'm gonna go to Google now let's say you know we don't know about the Python IDLE let's just start first to download and install the uh, Python IDE <clears throat> so I'm just gonna type PySharm PySharm okay I type it Python, Python IDE for professional developers by JetBrains. As you can see, it's a secured site, the uh, secured protocol, HTTPS. So I click on it. And then it says here, uh, you can uh, 
JetBrains may use cookies and my IP address to collect this. I don't want it. Okay, I don't. Want, I say no thanks. Okay, I just say no thanks. And you come here, you click download now. So when you click download now, you have the professional uh, edition and the community edition. We want the community edition for the for this particular tutorials python tutorials that we're gonna do we want the community edition it's the lightweight ide for python and scientific development when we get to web development then we can find we can either use this or we can use some other thing so i'm gonna go here we want the community edition is free it's open source you click on it <coughs> And of course, your download should start shortly. The download is beginning to download. If you want this, you can check it. If you want to, you can subscribe. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not going to subscribe. But if you want to, you can go ahead and subscribe. So, uh, we are... You wait for it to download so it's done it's finished downloading we just click on it to run it uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device i say yes uh, Welcome to PySham Community Edition Setup. Click Next. So uh, this is the destination folder where it's going to install the PySham. Uh, it's going to be under Program. Of course, the 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 hard drive, C drive, then the folder Program Files under the C drive, and then. Another folder, JetBrains, and then PySham Community Edition 2018.1.4. If you want to change it, you can browse and change it, but I'm not changing it. Okay, I click Next. And uh, I want desktop shortcut. However, I want the 64-bit launcher. Uh, if your computer is 32-bit, then you select 32-bit. But mine is 64 bit, so I'm using 64 bit. Uh, I also want to create associations, I want it, the files to be .py. So I check 64 bit launcher and I check .py. Uh, I don't want uh, this is download and install Java runtime environment uh, by JetBrains. Uh, I don't, I'm not interested in that right now. Uh, we are focused on Python right now, <laughs> so. Uh, for now, you can just leave it like this. Just check this 64-bit launcher and then associations.py, the name of the Python files. Then we click next. That's the extension of the Python files, the .py. And uh, I want it under JetBrains. That's fine. You leave it like this and you click install. So it's going to take some time. Um, to install so we wait for it now I'm trying to do this as simple as possible so that anybody you know even if you're not used to computers uh, because we have several people who have not programmed before or they've not they're not uh, competent with computers that they're not proficient in the use of technology but if they follow this it will be easy for them <laughs> okay and please i'm laughing because you know that's my nature do you want me to cry <laughs> okay so please i don't want to cry so uh i'm trying to do this you know i'm uh, trying to do this as simple as possible uh just just like the way i teach mathematics <laughs> so i try to teach it as simple as possible so that anybody can understand it uh, and that is what i will try to do for your class <laughs> uh, to do it as simple as possible okay 
So we finish this. Uh, we already have the desktop icon. So you can just click finish. Finish. And we close this. Now we have the uh, desktop icon here. So let's go ahead and open it. Uh, we are going to uh, run t our first project. Now, we don't want to import any settings. Do not import settings. So leave it like this. Click OK. And you know, you take your time later on to read all these. You take your time to read everything. Scroll down all the way. And you click accept. If you reject it, then you it will you will have to exit. So accept. Uh, data sharing. I don't want data sharing. I don't want. I know it's, it says by sending anonymous data about features and plugins used. I don't. So I'll say don't send. Now it says let's customize PySham. Uh, we want to select a theme. Uh, you have two themes here. Now, this is as at the time and date of recording this video. Uh, you know, technology changes all the time. So I don't know whether you will have more th themes later on. But this is the Dakula theme and this is the IntelliJ. I prefer this. You know, it's brighter, IntelliJ. So it's brighter. Okay. And you can change it later on in settings. Appearance and behavior under settings and then appearance under you click on settings you click on appearance and behavior Then you click appearance. We are going to be using this. So as we work with it, you know, we will get familiar with it You click next uh, Right now download featured plugins right now Right now we don't want this for now for what I'm doing now for this video so I'm not going to download any of this. I will not download and install any of this for now. I'll just click start using PySham. Then let's create a new project. A new project. So as you come here now, you see interpreter field is empty. I know it says untitled. Now this is the location of your new project where you want you know the projects we're gonna do for this course you know uh, the location to see those projects is this uh but like i said we need an interpreter as you can see here it says interpreter field is empty so we just uh, expand this click on this arrow expand this uh we have new environment using, you know, this, we have virtual environment and then Conda. These are interpreters for Python that comes with PySham. Uh, you, this is, you know, new interpreters that comes with PySham. Uh, if you click on this here, existing interpreter, you click here, there is none. No. So we don't have any interpreter here so which means you don't have the python ide on your computer you don't so we are going to now cancel this now i don't want to use any of these interpreters i don't i want to use the python ide now you might ask me why do i choose to do that okay uh some schools actually some schools some textbooks on Python, what they use is the Python IDLE. Actually, they don't even use Python IDE. They use only the Python IDLE. Uh, and you can do that. Okay, you can do that. But later on, I will, uh, I will let you know why I don't want to do that. Uh, if you use the Python IDLE, there are so many features lacking in it. You know, you don't have IntelliSense, you don't have, uh, with, you don't have IntelliSense, you don't have code marking, several features uh, of a, of a, uh, of several features that an IDE should have. IDLE does not have it. So 
Uh, you can actually use IDLE. You can only by itself, okay, because it's a Python interpreter. Uh, but I don't want to use that. No, I want an IDE uh, because there are some other features of an IDE that I want to uh, to uh, help in writing Python programs very well that the IDLE does not have. Now, we're going to cancel this. And we're going to uh, close this. It doesn't have a Python interpreter. Now, we go back to... Uh, I'm going to go back to Google Chrome. And then I just type Python. Okay, Let's go and get the Python IDLE. And this is the python.org. Remember, when you typed Python here, uh, it, this is where it leads you to. If you click on this python.org downloads. Okay. I'm going to go to python.org. Then I go to downloads and uh, I want the latest. Now, if you point your mouse on downloads, you see Python 3.6.5. Uh, and like I said, I'm using Windows 10. Okay. So you can click view the full list of downloads. Gives you this list of downloads. But what I need is the latest version for Windows. That is what I need. Uh, Python 3.6.5. As at the time and date of this recording. So I click download. And once it's done, I just click it to download it. Here it says install Python 3.6.5 32-bit, and that's fine. Uh, the 32-bit will work in for 32-bit and 64-bit, so it's okay. Uh, uh, for now, we're not going to customize installation. No, we will not. So. Uh, install launcher for all users recommended yes uh, right now i'm not gonna check this right now i will not check this like i said let's start small you know let's start simple i mean let's start simple <laughs> and then as we go on we can now you know so let's this video is let's do it the simple way we can do to take then we write a simple application a simple python application and it works then other things we as we go on we will learn <laughs> okay <laughs> so i'm gonna click install now and i click yes <clears throat> so it's gonna install the interpreter uh, the python interpreter so it's installing So, you know, <laughs> we want the way it could be easy so that people want, who want to major in computer science will still be in computer, <laughs> will still be in their major. We'll not just see something and run away. Oh, this is difficult. No. Technology is meant to be easy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> technology is meant to be easy, no matter what. And it's easy, you know. Even if it's not, don't worry. By the grace of God, I will make it easy. <laughs> I will make it easy. Okay? <laughs> so. Uh, okay, it was successful. Thank God. Now, we close this. And uh, I'm going to close this here. It is usually suggested that you restart after it's usually suggested you know but that's fine uh i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, it's usually i usually restart my computer after downloading and installing something or uninstalling something i usually do that but let's go ahead it doesn't matter we cl click create new pro new project and it says no python interpreter selected so i'm gonna click here extend this you see existing interpreter i still don't see anything at all i don't see anything so i'm gonna come here uh i will you know i clicked here i clicked right here this to you know to open this i click on it and then add python interpreter i don't want 
virtual environment, virtual EMV environment. I don't want it. I don't want Conda environment. I click on system interpreter. <clears throat> and once you click on system interpreter, you've seen uh, the, the Python you just installed. And this is the path to that Python right here. That's the path to it. Okay. It's in a users, Chukwe Mecca, Updater, Local Programs, Python, Python 36-32, Python.executable. EXE means executable. So this is what I want. I want it. And then I click OK. So now this is the interpreter. We, ha we have it now. Then we can now, uh, this is untitled project. So let's just call this first project. Let's just call it first project. How about it? Okay. You see, there's no space. I didn't put first space project. No. First project. Let's just call it first project. Right? And then uh, we click create. Create. Okay, let me expand this, maximize this, I mean, maximize it. And this is first project. Uh, one of the nice things about PyCharm is uh, anytime you open it, it shows you tips. So show tips on startup. Please do not uncheck this, please. Do not uncheck it. And you can click, you click next tip, you know, tells you several, you know, gives you tips. But I'm going to close this now because, you know, uh, this is uh, still running. But I'm going to close this. But, you know, with time, you can really, really uh, learn a lot about PyCharm. Uh, this is regular expressions. Yeah. So I'm going to close this here. And then what I'm going to do now is uh, this first project, uh, I can right right click on it right click and let me just let's create our new python new python file okay you right click new python file and let's call this um let's call this greeting greeting i know the first uh <laughs> the first project many people write is hello world okay let's just call let's call this now greeting py you click ok so greeting.py the python file and i'm just gonna you know uh, use let's write our first project so print print is an inbuilt function uh print uh, we have always been saying hello world so i'm not gonna say hello world this time i will say peace to the world Peace to the world. You know, my nickname is Sandon for Peace. So, print Peace to the world. Okay? Peace to the world. Print Peace to the world. Now, some of you, if you don't see this uh, well, you can, uh, you can actually set these fonts to be bigger. You can. But, uh, I'm using, I hope you see it, but if you don't, then I'll see what I can do in subsequent videos, yeah, to make this font bigger. So, I now write print, paste to the word, and then I have to run this. So, you under run, you know, you click run, and it says run edit configuration grading. I'm going to click on this, and it's run paste to the word. And that's your first project. It ran. Yay! All right. So, thank you so much for listening to this video session. Please watch out for other videos. And you have... If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. I hope the installation process was not a problem, right? <laughs> okay. And, of course, now if you come here and you type Python, you see now... We already installed it. It's now Python 3.6 desktop app. Now, some of you already have it. If you have, you know, that's first thing you do. Now, if you had it, if you had it 
you don't need it before we started this installation all you needed to do was to select that system file and add it that's all you need to do all right thank you so much and you have a good evening